I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is The Word Before Work. Today we're reading from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Here's what it says. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Again, that's Proverbs 19, verse 21. In this series, I've sketched out what I believe to be a biblical, God-honoring approach to planning. First, we saw that we are called to, quote, commit to the Lord whatever we do, end quote, including our planning. See Proverbs 16, 3. Second, we're called to listen to advice from others. See Proverbs 12, 15. Third, we're commanded to recognize our ultimate lack of control over our plans. See James 4, 13 through 16. And today's passage shares the fourth and final principle of this series. As we plan, we'd be wise to remember that regardless of the outcome of our plans, it is the Lord's purpose that always, always prevails. That truth should enable us to do at least two things. First, it should allow us to plan with more confidence. The very nature of planning is that it's risky. Whether you're planning a budget, a project, or goals for the next quarter, planning requires you to make predictions about a future that you can't yet see. And that could be that could be a frightening, scary thing for us to do which is why so many of us fall victim to analysis paralysis. But if you've committed your plans to the Lord, if you've sought out counsel from others, if you've humbly recognized your lack of control, you can make plans with confidence because at the end of the day, it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. His purposes cannot be thwarted. See Job chapter 42 verse 2. Commenting on today's passage, Tim Keller says, quote, in a sense for a Christian, there is no plan B, end quote. I love that. Second, today's passage should empower us to be at peace with any result. If our plans are wildly successful, it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. If our plans blow up spectacularly, it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. So we can be at peace with any result, knowing that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. See Romans 8 verses 28 through 29. What plans are you making at work this week? I would encourage you to view them in light of today's passage. Remember that the Lord's purpose will always prevail. And may that truth lead you to plan confidently and peacefully today. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at twbwfoundations.com. These email devotionals, are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. Sign up right now, again, totally free at twbwfoundations.com.